welcome back to the channel i'm wendy and this is wendy's coloring and today is just yeah a little quick flip um of this book uh domings i think it's his second book but it is i have to remind myself encyclopedia of the strange bizarre diseases um yeah it is quite a strange book i think uh gaga for gluing um spotted it in my uh february coloring plans and so she was, oh, uh, what's the rest of that book look like? Um, and whilst it was in a haul, yeah, it was quite a while ago, having just had a look. So, yeah, I thought I'd do a quick flip of it. So, obviously, if you've seen it, fine, that's okay. It's not a new book. It's been out for a while. I got mine from Book Depository quite a while ago now. Um, certainly not new. But it is a really good quality book. It's a nice hardback book, as you might have noticed from my um, colouring um, plans video. The paper in it is really lovely. It's really quite, it, it almost feels like watercolour paper. I have not yet, as obviously as it's in my colouring plans, I've not yet coloured in it, but yeah, I'm gonna try some watercolour in it because it feels like it's strong enough to hold it. But yeah, basically it's a book of diseases that are imagined. So quite kind of strange things that are wrong with people that, um, <laughs> well, you'll see as we go flip through it. It is quite strange. So yeah, I'm seeing 2020 was the year of strange diseases, let's be honest. Obviously a load of information that I have no idea. You've got the titles to the strange diseases. So I think this one is woman that can't stop crying. Um, and there's another one about a, heart, a broken heart or something. But yeah, I had a quick look at them. Uh, on my phone yesterday just coincidentally and yeah so you can translate what the actual imagined diseases are for each of the little pages but then you get as you do quite often with his work you get this kind of if I can do a close-up you get a little version of his work and then if we come back out again you get obviously a black and white but then you get a second one of it that also has another smaller version kind of, if I can kind of get them on on the same page so you have two goes at the strange disease um, whatever it may be this time um, so yeah you can try different things with it so yeah I'll just flip them through the, again I have no idea what these diseases are by all means feel to translate them if you choose to go down this road but obviously you get into of every single image that are, that's on here um, this looks like some kind of like seaweed that's taken over something or other. Off the top of my head, I cannot remember what each of one of these are. The one thing I did notice on this one, that the two things are different on here. So on the print, she's obviously crying from both eyes and you can see both eyes. But this one, it's like, it's like the tears are coming from the top of her head on the actual drawing. So I, I don't know why that's different, but obviously it's the same on both copies of it that the images aren't quite the same you can kind of see where her eye is so you could do it the same if you wanted to I don't think it'd be too difficult to try then you've got this strange person in a bath that seems to be being again being taken over by things I don't know <laughs> it is a very strange book then you've got a person that again seems to be being <laughs> getting attacked by various different growths I I don't know how to even describe some of this book. <laughs> it is quite strange. Um, a woman with some kind of chemistry set bits and pieces that are forming something on her plate, which seems to be going into her hair. I, I have no idea. It is, as I said, it is a strange, and obviously this is the one that I was thinking I'd do this month. I'm going to flip the two together if I can get hold of them so you're not seeing the doubles twice you've got this little beaker that's got a lady and a goldfish in it let me grab the second page there you've got this lady in the plants you've got these two heads in again something some kind of seed growth with mushrooms i don't know it is like i say it's quite a strange book i'm sure the translation means something and will make far more sense of it but yeah, it's a strange book. It is. It's beautiful. It's lovely made. The drawings are amazing. But it is quite strange. Oh, 
And this one I do really like as well. But again, it's quite a strange image. She's got like a cup of tea. I don't know. And she's got this massive, huge furry body. And she's got this veil thing on. I don't know what's going on in this book. It is quite strange. Another mermaidy one. This one's got a person kind of trapped in the flowers. Another person amongst the growths. This one I like. Yep, and that's all of them. Then you've got these little picture cards towards the end. I don't know if these are supposed to be kind of... They kind of feel like they're a bookmark or something, don't they? You could use them as... Um, but yeah, little... Little designs on those as well. And that's pretty much it. So there you have it. Doming's second book. The very strange, I have to remind myself, Encyclopedia of Strange and Bizarre Diseases. And it is quite bizarre. It's a beautifully made book though. Quite chunky compared to most books that we have. What have I got to hand that I can compare it to for you? Oh, oh goodness. So for example, thicker than Summer Nights by quite a chunk. I'll put that one back. But yeah, it's quite an interesting, unusual book. It is available on Book Depository if you're interested. I think when I just had a quick look, it's about 18 UK pounds. Um, it is slightly smaller book than his old one. Again, if I put Summer Nights near it, I might have to zoom out so you can see a little bit better. But it is considerably smaller than um, something like Summer Nights by a margin. So, yeah up to you really whether it's something you're interested in but I'll put the link um, in the description below <laughs> um, if you're interested obviously it's available there and that's probably the cheapest way to most places thanks for watching bye bye